Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to share with you how I put together these really adorable mini tree collars. Now I made two of them, two different sizes. One I have right here. The other one I'm gonna show you in just a minute. I'm gonna show you how I did it using all dollar store supplies. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, subscribe to my channel, turn on the little notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Let me show you the other one. Now I have the other one up here in my bedroom um, with just a small little tree. I don't have it plugged in right now, but I love this one. I love the little chevron ribbon. I'll show you how I made both of them. So let's get started with this DIY. So first I picked up two of these plastic containers from my Dollar Tree. The first is this little plastic bucket or little bin that has these um, easy to cut off handles and the second is a plastic laundry basket. Now both should be fairly easy to cut because they're kind of like a lightweight plastic. I also found these really pretty bath mats and I really liked the color of them. This one that I picked has like a little Greek key print on one side but on the other side it's got this really natural woven look which is what I'm gonna use for the outside of one of my tree skirts. I bought four of them, however, I ended up only using three. I just wanted to make sure I had enough. Also, I'm gonna use this black chevron ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. One roll should be fine. And I have some clips and some kitchen shears as well as some hot glue. Now, I also bought some of the Dollar Store faux pearls, which I'm gonna use for decorating one of the tree collars. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my kitchen shears and cut the bottom of this laundry basket out. This plastic is super easy to cut, so you shouldn't have any problem if you have a good sharp pair of scissors. I put hot glue around the top rim of the laundry basket and then I glued my bath mats with the underside of the bath mat facing outward because that was the side that I wanted to see. I wanted my tree collars to sit flush on the floor, so that's why you need to clip these little handles off. And then I glued my final bath mat to my tree collar, making sure that it covered up that portion of the handle that I clipped off, and I'm gonna be gluing that down later. But I wanted to also trim the bath mat so I didn't have a huge piece overlapping. So once I got my bath mats glued to my tree collar, I flipped it what will be right side up. And I took one of my bath mats and about in the center, I pulled it up. So that was gonna be the portion that I was gonna glue first to the top of my tree collar. And that would ensure that I would have somewhat of a flush fit. I repeated this process with each one of the bath mats overlapping at the seams just to make sure I had a good fit. When the bath mats were all glued into place, I flipped my tree collar back over and glued down the spaces that covered up the little handles that I cut off. Next I took my chevron ribbon and I hot glued it just to the bottom portion of my tree collar to create a really nice finished edge. All right, so this was my first tree collar. It only took about 10 minutes to make this larger one. For the smaller tree collar, I took this little bucket and clipped off the handles. Now these were a little harder to get off. I couldn't use my kitchen shears alone with them. I had to actually use some wire snips. But then at the bottom, I was able to just punch a hole um, in the bottom and I took my little hacksaw and cut like an X shape in the plastic which was fairly easy to do once you punch the hole in the bottom. Um, and then once I got the little X shape cut, I was able to take my kitchen shears and finish cutting out the rest of the plastic.
And then I pulled it as tight as I could, wrapped it around the bottom rim and glued the ribbon into place around the bottom. And then I repeated this process, making sure to overlap the ribbon as I went around so that you couldn't see the white plastic of the bucket underneath. When I got the entire tree collar wrapped with a ribbon, I decided to take some of the pearl beads from the Dollar Tree and glue them around each one of the seams at the base of the tree collar, just to give it a little extra glam look, which is kind of what I was going for with these like farmhouse style tree collars. All right, friends, so here is the final version of each one of the tree collars. I have them out in my family room right now just to show you, but I think I'm going to put the bigger one in our bedroom and then the smaller one on my stairway going up to my second floor. Hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. It was a lot of fun and really easy to do. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on that little notifications bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Have a great day, guys.